hi all so in this video we are going to make an HR site HR form for that so this form will be used by the user to submit their request but when this form will reach to the HR it will not look like this so the con huge case is like the HR should not be able to edit any fields they should only be able to see the details and uh, one more field we will add here like comments so they should be able to add some comments as well and these buttons of submit and cancel we will make it into approve or reject the request like this okay so let's get started so first of all what we want is when it will go into the HR queue so we have to consider something uh, we have to make these fields as read only they should not be able to edit the data so w when it can happen so let's make a rule input uh, for example like HR okay just keep it simple HR so when it is in HR queue it is boolean so let's try to make it uh, create a rule input huh. so when HR is true all these fields will become read only we are not going to create a new interface for the HR side we are going to use the same interface convert the same interface into the HR side so what we are going to see is when the HR will be true in the process if it reach the HR queue then all these fields should become read only so let's try to configure that let's go into the expression mode okay and first of all this label is there okay let's see how we can do it so if it is uh, if it is like a, a user form then travel reimbursement form is fine but if it is HR then we will change it so we will write a condition here uh, here if okay and we'll put it here if rule input uh, HR is equal to true if HR is true then what we want to say means it is in now in HR queue so it will say uh, HR approval for uh, some user would have submitted the form so let's slide it and rule input employee details dot name so who has submitted the form okay so if it is true then it will show like this if it is not true then it will uh, say like this so let's cut it from here and let's paste inside it huh. now it is fine so now you can see here HR approval for Smith J because Smith J is already there we can add uh, some more details for the HR uh, field like we can say of amount okay so here again we have to give uh, and so that we can connect all the lines together and uh, let's make it quote okay uh, for amount and we have to write the amount so to write the amount let's give and and a rule input uh, expense details dot total cost okay so now it will give us a brief idea now you can see here HR approval for Smith J for amount 2500 so based on the label only HR can see all like what, what this task is who the task is for like who has submitted the request and for how much amount they have submitted the request the HR can see it okay so first part is done we will use in the same if condition for others as well now in the employee ID what we do we what we want is uh, this employee ID will become read only uh, okay if okay so let's write one condition as read only if when it will become read only if rule input HR if rule input HR is true then only it will become read only otherwise it will be false let's see how it behaves now so now it is C now you can see here it is read only and in APN like when any value is read only so above a label position is not recommended we will change the label position as well to adjacent so here also the condition is the same here we will write if if rule input uh, HR is equal to true then what will happen then it will become adjacent okay then it will become adjacent otherwise it will become above okay so now it will become above so now you can see here all these fields are now there fine 
similarly the same condition will be needed for all the fields so what we will do is we are not going to write each condition step by step we will just copy it because there is nothing much here which will be different for each field so this is level position every everyone is having adjacent above and read only is everyone is having so let's try to copy it entirely and paste in place of the level position here we will paste it because that above is not needed place of that this is needed okay so now we will see all these values so now email is as well configured now let's similarly we will do for the other size well let's put it this one okay and for phone number as well and we can see all these values are now changing description will as well change it okay so description is also changed huh date field so do we have ha huh, date field we do have so for date field as well we will change it requested for fine and the total cost as well so now every details we have changed it so now you can see here our approval form is now ready with hr now if it is in the users queue uh, what we will let's make it false and you can see all the details yeah see here all the details are like that but when it will go into the hr queue it will become true and that true in the process mode we will automatically keep it true so that we don't have to each time enter it hmm. now the hr can either approve the request or reject ha huh. before that one more thing is there we have to add some comments by the hr as well because if they are approving or rejecting do they want to add any comment or not so they should be able to add some comments so let's take a paragraph field here in our section layout only okay and this is the section hmm. and we will name it we will name this paragraph field as comments so okay we will name it as comments ha huh. this label position will be above only fine ha huh. this value and the value of the comments will get saved into employee details dot uh, comment field one comment field was there same thing will get saved in here as well uh, rule input expense details dot comments okay so let's select the comments it will get saved there and comment will be a required field obviously so required required is equal to true okay so now required is true this comment is required anyhow and similarly we will keep the required true for the uh, for all the fields as well we don't we don't want uh, users should miss any field uh, okay um, okay so what we will do is we will make required all the fields so let's make it required put the same thing everywhere and you can see here that uh, a uh, marker is going ha huh. description is uh, not uh, much needed so we can remove the description as well so description if they want to give they can give it ha huh. phone number is fine and the name obviously it is uh, required they can't miss to fill their name email id will be required employee id is very important yeah so all these fields uh, has now been completed okay now our next thing to configure is hr should not uh, uh, see this submit button and cancel instead they, they we can say like uh, instead they can see like instead of submit they can see approve or reject button so let's go and try to do the same thing what we have done for rest of the field in the label here if we see the label we have put a if condition that if it is true then so this otherwise this similarly we will do for the same thing for submit button as well so let's go to the submit button this is the submit button and label again we will put the if condition if rule input expense details dot uh, okay so no not expense directly we can put hr only if rule input hr is equal to true then so approve because hr will have the approve button otherwise we will cut this field of submit and paste it here otherwise so submit so now you can see here approve is there okay 
and the approve button ha and one more thing if the hr has approved it if the hr has approved it so we want to save one more value and what is that value a bank save uh, here in our CDT we have considered one field that like HR approval. HR approval is true or false. So if the HR has clicked on approve, we want uh, the our CDT of HR approval. Huh. If they have, we will keep it true. Okay, we will keep it true like they have now saved it. Okay, so after that this approve is done. Okay. Similarly, we will do for the cancel button. So, uh, for the cancel as well, we'll put the same condition if if rule input HR is equal to true, then what do we want? If HR is true, then we can put a reject button. Otherwise, we will put cancel. Cut and let's paste it there. So now we have reused this button. Huh. This reject button is currently in a uh, normal style. So we want to be in kind of a red color, something like this. So to configure the style, we will put it destructive. So we will put the same condition uh, here as well and we'll make it destructive. So if, if rule input HR is equal to true, then we'll make it a destructive otherwise we'll keep it uh, this normal so now that is also done okay so let's make it normal now that's it so uh, one more thing is missing yeah so now normal is done so you can see here the reject button is now showing okay so i guess we have configured all the fields ha huh. one more thing is left when the hr click on reject button then uh, uh, our hr approval should become false so here also here save into is rule input cancel so instead of uh, okay so this cancel we can make it a list of saves here and okay and we can make that a bank save we want to save into our rule input employee details dot uh, hr approval false false we will save their false so now let's try to test our expense detail we will expand our huh. now hr approval is null let's try to click on reject button so if you see here it has become false if we click on approve button it will become true oh, for approve we need some comments as well so for uh, comment let's write it approved okay and let's write it approved and this is comment is approved and the hr approval is true okay so that's all we need for now so in this video we have configured our hr approval